This is Ellen, and today I'm going to show you how I made my comfy, cozy, easy peasy crocheted poncho. So what you will need for this project is some yarn. I am using some yarn called Cookie, made by the company Yarbo, distributed by a company called Hobby, um, H-O-B-B-I-I. -I. You can find it on their website there. Uh, the Cookie yarn comes in these wonderful cakes. Um, that are, let's see, uh, they're 200 gram cakes and it contains 656 yards per cake. I used about a little over a cake and a half for mine. Um, so just to give you an idea, that's about how much yardage you will need. You can see the photo of the poncho to decide, uh, you know, how much, your, uh, how much yarn you will need. I would get two cakes just to make sure, especially if you want to have fringe on your poncho because that can be a, a yarn eater. So anyway, um, we will need yarn, we will need a crochet hook. I used a size six millimeter crochet hook. I don't know, can we see that? I don't know, six millimeter crochet hook. Uh, the yarn that I'm using asks for a five millimeter crochet hook, but I wanted my poch poncho to be a little bit drapey, so I used a six millimeter. And then also, you of course, you'll need a tapestry needle and some scissors for later on in the project when you're finishing up. Now, in terms of yarn, one more note is that you don't have to use this yarn. You don't have to use cookie. Uh, you could use, I would say that the cookie yarn, uh, it's one of those, uh, skinny, thick, thin yarns where part of the yarn can be sort of a, a bulky worsted weight, whereas part of it becomes a little more thin, like a sport weight right there, perhaps a DK right there, worsted, and then some parts of it are, uh, I would say, a bulky five. So this, ra this yarn ranges from, uh, I'd say, a DK weight to a bulky weight throughout the yarn. So there's several yarns that have that thick, thin, um, it, but if you want to have just your, your basic worsted weight yarn, that would work fine with this project. Really, you can use even a fingering weight yarn for this project. Just know that you'll need um, to use a smaller crochet hook and you will need to obviously add more rows. So really use the crochet hook that your yarn asks for and measure up about a half a millimeter to a millimeter if you'd like to have a little bit of a better drape. So that being said, uh, let's begin. Now I've already made my poncho, so I'm not going to make a brand new one. I'm going to make a, a size, um, a scaled down version of the poncho. So I'm going to chain here 22, but you will need to chain 104. So as a reminder of what crochet chaining is like, um, well, first of all, you'll want to make a slip knot. Make a slip knot how you would like to make your slip slip knot. And I'm going to chain 22, you're going to chain 104. So that's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. Of course, at this point, you would be at 104. Now, once you've got your chain of 104, you will want to take your chain and make sure that it's all straight, the chain lane's flat, and then you will want to slip stitch into your first chain. Slip stitch to form a loop, okay? Now you want chain one, and you will want to put one single crochet in each stitch or each chain around. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to put one single crochet into the same uh, stitch that I made my chain one in. I'm gonna put a single crochet there and I'm going to single crochet across. The one thing to keep in mind as you're doing your chain, your initial chain, is that you really don't want to have your chain be too tight. So you want to make sure that you are chaining rather loosely. 
This way, uh, your deck line will have a little bit more, oops, will have a little bit more give. Anyway, I'm going to go and chain around, and I will meet you back. Once you have chained your 104, and I have chained my 22, we'll meet back here. So, we are back, and I have 22 single crochets around my ring. You should have 104 for an adult-sized poncho. Of course, if you're wanting a child-sized poncho, then you'll want to make your neckline a little bit smaller. You'll want to start, just make sure that you start with an even number and then apply the rules that I'll be showing you now. So now that you've got your single crochet, you will want to slip stitch into your starting single crochet. Okay, I slip stitch and now I have my neckline. So in this first stitch is where we're going to want to put our first corner. So I'm going to chain one, and I am going to put a double crochet into that same stitch. Okay, so that's my first double crochet. Now I want to put another double crochet into that same stitch. Now I'm going to chain two, one, two, and then I'm going to put another two double crochets into that same stitch. Oops. Okay, so here we have the first point of our poncho. So now I'm going to want to go around my circle putting one double crochet in each stitch for 20 stitches. Now you are going to want to put one double crochet in each stitch for 51 stitches. Okay, so I'm gonna put one, two, Three, all the way around until you get to 51 double crochets and then I will meet you back. So I have done 10 double crochets around. I got my numbers confused before, so I'm at, I'm at a very much smaller scale. Actually, I think this is probably gonna fit like an American girl doll when I'm done. But anyway, um, I have 10 double crochets. You should have 51. Uh, and now in the 52nd stitch from that first point right here, we're going to make another point. So we're going to put two double crochets in that same stitch. Okay, that's two. And now we're going to chain two. Every single point is going to have this um, chain two, two double crochets, chain two, two double crochets. So now we're going to do another two double crochets in that same stitch, one and two, so now we have a point. Now I am going to double crochet in the next ten stitches around, and you are going to double crochet in the next fifty-one stitches around, and Let's see, I probably need to meet you back. Let's see. Double crochet around. Here. Really, I think the trickiest part of this whole project is this part. Once you get into a rhythm with this poncho, it is just so super easy and repetitive and pretty much mindless that uh, it's really a very great project, especially with this nice big hook to just watch a TV show, relax, listening to some music, and make yourself a comfy, cozy, easy peasy poncho. Okay, so I'm gonna count just to make sure, because that's my habit, I always do that. So here's my corner, with my two double crochets, chain two, two double crochets. And now I'm gonna count my double crochets. There's two double crochets, there's four, six, eight, ten. Great. So I have my ten double crochets. 
and here is my corner. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into this first double crochet. I'm going to uh, slip stitch into my first double crochet. So right here. I'm going to slip stitch. Go chain one. And then I'm going to put a double crochet into that same stitch that I just chained one into. Then I'm going to put a double crochet into the next stitch. And now I find myself in the corner again. Now here's a trick. This is something that I had to work out a little bit on my own, but um, just in terms of like where the tops of these stitches are, like you see here, um, it looks like you might could put a, a stitch right in there. Like that this could be the top of that stitch, but it's not actually. This right here is the top to this stitch. So you don't want to worry about putting anything right there because that is not a stitch in this project. Instead, I want to go into the big chain two space and do my two double crochets, chain two, and then two more double crochets. Oops. One. So there I have made another another point. See? And now all I need to do is Okay, so here's the trick. I know how I showed you at the beginning of this chain space that you didn't want to go into that little mock stitch there. Well, there actually is, like, if it, it looks like your next stitch would be right there, but it's actually not. You need to pull these stitches back, and you'll see that there is a stitch that goes into that chain space. So you want to make sure that you, that, that you use that as your first stitch. Otherwise, you're not going to be even, and your poncho will be lopsided. So now I'm going to put a double crochet in each stitch around until I make it back to the original point. Now I should have more stitches now because we have increased and we will count when we get to that next point and I will show you. Let's see. Go around with my double crochets. This yarn, by the way, it's a, it's a pretty comfortable yarn. I, I enjoy working with it. It's kind of cushy, uh, fairly soft. Um, the thick, thin is fun. Although I will say that there are a few parts that get rather thin. Uh, a couple times so much so that I even felt the need to, uh, to cut the yarn, to cut that part away because I wasn't sure if it would be strong enough. Um, but for the most part, it's just a nice, cushy, cuddly yarn that I would buy again if I had a project for it. In fact, when I, when I purchased this cookie yarn, I really didn't know what I was going to make with it. And when I got it, I was like, oh, this is a poncho. Okay, so here I am at the next corner. And I'm not going to go into this stitch right there. It's a mock stitch. I'm going to I'm going to go into the chain two space. And I'm going to make my point with one, two double crochets, oops, chain two, and then two double crochets. Okay, so I've made my, my point. I'm going to pull my stitches back and find that first stitch. And double crochet all the way back around to my starting point. And then we're going to go and we're going to count our stitches. I think it's a very good habit in crochet to always count your stitches. And because otherwise, if you're like 10 rows in and you realize your mistake, you will be crying. <laughs> and, uh, and, and also, I think it's nice to count just to give your hands a break for a few moments. 
because if you're anything like me, you'll just crochet and crochet and crochet and kind of go crazy with it. And next thing you know, your hands are hurting. So it's always nice to take these little counting breaks. Give your hands a rest for a minute. So, okay, I'm going to go all the way back here. Until you get to where your first point is. Now you see this stitch right here, that's not a stitch that I'm gonna to wanna to go into because you see there's already uh, some work in there, if you've noticed. So that's how you know that's not a stitch. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna count how many double crochets I have here. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. No, wait, excuse me, that goes with that. So there's these two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So I have twelve stitches here, and that makes sense because I'm in my second round, and I increased the last round by adding another corner. So I have extra stitches, you should have extra stitches. It's really important that after every uh, row that you count your stitches and you make sure that you have two points here, let me finish my point and I'll show you. Do, do, do. Oops. <laughs> okay, so I am here. I'm going to slip stitch into my first stitch. Into that first double crochet that I made. I want to slip stitch in there. And I'm going to chain one, and I'm going to, um, all right, so here I am. Before I continue, I have, I have this. I have two points and a center neck ring, and each point has two double crochets, chain two, two double crochet. Now, at the end of every row, what I want you to do is make sure that you have the same number of stitches on one side of your poncho as you do on the other. I don't even care if you miss a stitch on this side, as long as you miss a stitch on this, or put an extra stitch on either side, but you just wanna make sure that they're even. That's really, really important. So at the end of every row, if you have 70 stitches here, you wanna make sure you have 70 stitches there. And at the end of every row, you're gonna have a few stitches more. It really depends on, uh, on how many stitches you're starting with. Um, to determine how many stitches you'll have in each row. But that's really just the basic rule of thumb, is that you want to have two corners, two points, and then even stitches around. And that, my friends, is really what this project's all about. Um, you do the same thing of every row. You start the same way. Um, you chain one, you put a double crochet into your first stitch, you put a double crochet into your next stitch, and then you'll want to keep on putting double crochets in stitches until you reach your, t your chain two space, in which case you'll want to make your point. And again, your point is two double crochets, chain two, and then two double crochets. And just keep going around like this, exactly like this, until you have the size poncho that fits you. So you go ahead and do that, make your poncho, keep trying it on until you get to a point that you feel is flattering for you or for whoever you're making it for. And then meet me back here and I will show you how to finish your poncho as well as add some fringe if you would like. Here I am at the end of my row. And once again, I'm going to finish my row with a slip stitch into my first double crochet. And in my case, my poncho is done. Your poncho should be a lot larger. At this point, you're going to want to chain one. Cut your yarn. Pull through. You want to tie this these yarn ends later. Now I have a cute little poncho. I think this could fit an American Girl doll. Uh, this is gonna fit 
a little dog that my daughter has. Isn't that cute? Little poncho? So in this case, this little puppy has a little poncho and I don't think he needs French because it would get in the way. He wouldn't be able to run. <laughs> but let's say that you would like fringe for your poncho, right? So let me show you how to make fringe. What you do is you decide how long you want your fringe. You could use a book, you can use cardboard, whatever. I'm going to use my fingers. Um, I'm going to have my hand here and I'm going to take my yarn and have a piece of yarn the length of my fingers and I'm going to wrap it around one, two, three. And this gives me four, uh, one, two, three, four strands of yarn on each side of my hand. Okay. And then I'm going to go ahead and cut this. And then I'm going to go ahead and cut these at the bottom here. And now what I have is four individual strands of yarn. The reason I use my fingers to wrap them around is so I could get uh, the measurement that I want because my, t my um, fringe is going to be about uh, a little bit shorter than, than my fingers. You'll see. Um, so anyway, I've got my fringe here, my, my yarn here. And then what I, what I did with my poncho is I put my fringe every fourth stitch. So you'll start with a stitch. Um, we could start here in, in, the, in the chain space here. What you wanna do actually is you wanna decide which is the front of your poncho, lay that down. And then you wanna bring your hook underneath. Take all of your yarn and pull it through like so, okay? You want to pull it through enough to get your fingers through there. Once it's through here, you'll want to just make sure that your, your yarn is kind of even. You know, the, the, the shorter pieces of yarn, you can pull those to make sure that everything's even. Okay. And now that you've, now that you can take, you can take both fingers, put them through the, to the loop, grab the yarn with your fingers through the loop and pull it through. Okay? And then pull the yarn gently. Pull it, pull it, pull it, and you've got your fringe or your tassel, so to speak. And what you can do then is you can then cut your fringe so that all the pieces are even, and you've got your little piece of fringe there. What I did was I did this, I, I, I put my, my fringe there, and then I skipped one, two, three stitches, and then put some fringe in my next stitch, and I went all throughout my poncho. Let me show you my completed poncho so that you have an idea. Let's see if I can get more light in here too. So they got much darker. We're having rainy days. So my poncho, which is gigantic, <laughs> but you see, I put um, the fringe every fourth. So I have the fringe in that stitch, and then I skipped one, two, three stitches, fringe, one, two, three, fringe, and so on. And I put fringe all the way around, and it is just a lot of fun to have that extra fringe. Now, if your neckline for your poncho fits well and looks good, then you can just leave it alone. But if you feel like your neckline needs, if your neck hole needs to be a little bit smaller or you'd like to clean up the, the edges here, what you can do is you can start in the back here. Let's see. I'll find a stitch and you want to take your your yarn and pull it through your stitch chain one 
and then put a single crochet into that same stitch. And then single crochet in every stitch around your, I'll do it this way, every stitch around your neckline. And that will just give you a, a nice little edge on your neckline and it will also make your neckline a lot smaller. What I'm actually doing is I'm going in between the double crochets. This is not what I did on mine. You could go on the other side of the chain, but I think this looks interesting actually. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep this going. But you could just go into the other side of the, uh, the chain that you made and put your single crochets in there. I am going in between the, the original single crochet stitches that we put in. Oh, and here we are at the corner. Oops. Let's go back in here. And in the corner, let's put two single crochets. Or you can put one single crochet, like I said, in each side of the chain. I think that the way I'm doing it is definitely going to create a smaller neck hole. It's going to pretty much decrease it, which if that's something that works for your body, then go ahead and do that. Otherwise, just put your single crochet into all of the chains. And when you get back to your original single crochet, you'll want to slip stitch in there. Slip stitch, and then you have a smaller neckline, like so. And you could you could keep going around and put your single crochet. Now the way I just did it, it made the neckline a little bit puffier. Do you see how it looks a little, a little bit puffier now? Also, there could be an optical illusion going on here because it is a different color but it did, it did make your ne the neckline a little bit puffier. If you like that look, go ahead and put your stitches in between each single crochet. Otherwise, make sure that you put your, your, your stitches on top of each single crochet. And that's really the difference of what I did here. But yeah, that is your little poncho. Perfect for American Girl dolls or all sorts of toys, all the way up to human grown-ups. You like it? Yeah, I think it's pretty cool. Cool. Well, I'm glad that you like it. I hope that you wear it in good health. And I hope that you all have a beautiful day. Enjoy your crochet. And I will see you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.